didn't see you there. Welcome back to Subnautica, ladies and gents. This totally isn't scripted at all. Uh, welcome to my new base. Why don't I take a minute to, uh, show you around? So this is my observation room. As you see, it gives us a beautiful view of the grassy plateau. Minus the wreck pieces down there, but ignore those. Unfortunately, we can't see any reef back right now, though I did see them out here earlier. I'm aware of that. Thank you very much. But no bugs yet to report. All right. So now let's turn around and show you the rest of my greatly expanded base. This is my moon pool, where the Nereid is docked and fully charged. And you see it connects in three different places. Oh, and the Aurora poster's up there now. Ha, huh? cool, right? So let's, uh, let's see. Where should we go first? I suppose I'll just show you what's over here. There's nothing over here yet, but this is the multi-purpose room. This is what they look like, and this, inevitably, here and up here, is where my alien containment is eventually going to be once I discover the parts. That's one thing that's on our to-do list. So there's nothing in here right now, but once we get the parts to all the alien containment things, it's gonna go in there. Uh, now let's go this way. Got a nice little glass thingy again a wonderful view of the grassy plateau right there that's where the base used to be that arch right there and with the caves down below that is that's the arch we used to be on so now we're just over here a ways this is what i'm calling the power tower <laughs> this is where all my power in the base comes from this is a bioreactor uh you put fish plants food whatever something that can be churned up in there and used to make power Kind of like a uh, hydroelectric stuff, but instead of water, it's food. Yeah, and then up here is my nuclear reactor. Yep, I found a piece to that and decided to build it. But the thing is, I don't have anything to put in here yet because uh, I need to build reactor rods, which I need uraninite crystals for, and I have no idea where to get those. And I didn't want to go off into a new new area to look for things that we hadn't been to yet. So this nuclear reactor doesn't do anything for now. But it will, in the future. This is my play- oh. That's a thing that I did. Whoops. Uh, right, I took out my water filtration system because it was taking up a lot of power and I wanted it to recharge a bit. So, I can put that back right here. Voila! There we go. Now, that's a water filtration machine. It will give me salt and purified water which refill 50 hydration points, not 30, like the other water I've been using, or 20, like the bladderfish. So we're in good shape there. I have another lantern tree, plus a Chinese potato plant, and some marble melons that I'm growing for food. Maybe I could take a couple right now. Let me take some of these. Munchy, 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 munchy. Good to go. And this connects right back up to the moon pool, as you see. And then down here is our crafting station, slash keep composter slash storage, slash bed, because we sleep down here, because why not? And there's my fabricators, my communications relay, my power chargers, my, my modification station are all right here. And then out there is a grow bed I use to get stuff like silicone rubber or lubricant. And then there is just a bunch of cool plants that I found while going around in the deep. And uh, we're eventually going to put those in the alien containment unit. But for now, they're staying there, where they're out of storage and not taking up so much space. And why isn't my picture frame showing? Huh? I took a screenshot of a reef back and put it up there and it was cool. And now it's, now it's not there. Now that I've shown you around my brand new base, let me show you the outside just so you can see how cool it looks. This is my base. Look at how cool it is on the outside. Ain't that awesome. So I have a list of things that we're gonna do. Uh, that we're gonna try to at least get started on accomplishing uh, for this session. I'm gonna come in here so I don't drown. And then as soon as I'm done reading this list, we'll listen to that message, so give me a second. But I need to find nuclear reactor rods, um, which I believe uraninite crystal can be found in the Grand Reef and below, meaning Blood Kelp Zone, Lost River, all those places. We have to go back down there anyway to get that data ter terminal that I missed, and actually, speaking of which, do I have a purple artifact in my inventory yet? I do. I thought ahead. Good. I also upgraded my knife to a thermal blade, so now I can just slash fish and immediately cook and eat them without having to bring them back to cook them in the fabricator. 
So, yeah, that's cool. We are going to craft the prawn suit, but I want to find the remaining pieces for the grapple arm, which can be found in the Grand Reef and Blood Kelp zones, in Rex, probably around there. So, we're gonna have to freaking go back there anyway. I need to go back to the to the mountain island and put the ion cube into the, the arch we found up there, because I want to show you what that does, finally. I'm gonna craft a stasis rifle. I can make polyaniline right now, and we're also gonna build the cyclops. And the alien containment, which is apparently <laughs> the pieces of the alien containment unit are found in the bulb wreck. So it's in the shipwreck in the bulb zone, meaning we got to go back to where the mesmer were. Ain't that fun. So we have a lot of dangerous tasks ahead of us, but we're going to do it. And I'm going to grab two uraninite, no, not uraninite crystals, ion cubes right now. So I have organized my storage all my man-made slash battery mechanical stuff whatever old tools are in here this is all like natural stuff shrooms plants teeth from creatures whatever all that's in there this is quartz gold silver and diamond so all like kind of like the valuable stuff plus glass and then this is literally everything else lead copper lithium ruby magnetite and all my titanium is in this box here salt here pantry food and water in here so i am fully organized we are efficient as fuck minus power supply because you see it's going down pretty quick oh yeah okay now we're gonna listen to this message this is life pod 2 coordinates attached Another. we're way past our safe depth and bleeding o2 that sucks we'll have to swim for the surface but it's 500 meters straight up we'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted out Signal location uploaded to PDA. We. I think that's the, the, the PDA message that we found on the, the the floating island, wasn't it? She was with Keen. And they tried to swim for the surface, and you didn't... The girl there, she didn't make it. Life pod sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. Where is that? Oh god, it's down there. Oh, that's in the direction of the Aurora, isn't it? God. Okay, I don't even know where to start. We've got a lot of things to do here. Um, I feel like we should just go back to the Lost River and get that data terminal before I forget. Did I grab two uraninite crystals? I, I keep calling them uraninite crystals. They're not. They're ion cubes. We're looking for uraninite crystals. I don't have that yet. Okay, but now we gotta go back up to the moon pool. So I hope you guys like the new base. I have no intention of moving it again now that I have multi-purpose rooms. Welcome aboard, okay. Our systems online. Let me just make sure I also have everything I need. Uh, I have my repair tool, I have laser cutter, I have knife, scanner, extra batteries, sea glide. Okay, we're good. Food and water, med kits. We're gonna go for this life pod right now just because I feel like it. Oh god. I think this is the underwater island biome? It is. Okay. Did I explore the wreck here? I don't remember if I did. Oh god, I'm scared. What is that? What is- what is that? Is that the wreck? It's the wreck. Okay, well, good. And it was the wreck in the Grand Reef, right? I didn't bring my laser cutter, so I couldn't get inside. I bet the other- You reefbacks are a far off place. A far enough- far away- whatever. Fuck, I can't talk. Do I have anything in here that I need? I'm betting I- oh god, I'm betting I searched this already. Mm. Hello. Apparently I haven't searched this already. That is a dick move, also it's a bed kit and I don't need that, so screw you. What? Ah! Well there we go. Do I have that on here? I don't. I didn't even know that was here! I wrote down Grand Reef and Blood Kelp Rex. I didn't know that there were grappling fragments in here. Awesome. I have the grappling arm now. We can make the prawn suit. Maybe I want to uh, make the grappling suit before we go back down into the Lost River. Just because, like, walking along sea level, like, like ground level underneath the water, that's not what I wanted. Uh, in the Lost River... Oh god. Plus, we're gonna need the prawn suit to go down past 900 meters, which, yes, we're definitely gonna have to do at some point. 
I suppose I should also say, uh, uh, or rather apologize, for parts 9 through 13, I think, had the, the, the crappy audio quality, but, I mean, do I have all the pieces for you? Propulsion arm fragment? Um, I, it was, it was the first session I recorded, sweet. It was the first session I recorded after getting my computer back from the repair place. I'm gonna go not drown. And so I was just so excited to record again without having to worry about losing footage or whatever, and I completely forgot to check my microphone settings to see if they had reset or not, and of course they had. So the audio quality was terrible because Windows apparently thinks it's a good idea to reset all of my audio and recording preferences every time there's a goddamn update. And... Oh my god! Fuck you. The repair guy told me he installed the latest update. I just forgot in all my excitement. So, yeah, my bad. But it's fixed now, as you can tell. So, no harm done, I suppose. Alright, here we go. And I mean, you know, I'd rather have episodes, a couple of episodes with crappy audio quality than losing the audio quality altogether. Losing the audio or the gameplay altogether like I was before I brought my computer in to get fixed, so... Playing the glad game. How many people here have watched Pollyanna? It's an old movie, but it's a it's a heartwarming story, and I love it. This little girl goes to this grouchy old town and cheers them all up, basically. Gives them an appreciation for life, and it's it's a wonderful story. It's an old movie. It's an old Disney movie. Live action. Uh, Pollyanna, and it's... it's awesome. Oh god, that's not what I was expecting. It's all purpley down here. Definitely did not used to look like this. I'm pretty sure I'm being chased by something. Oh god. Well, apparently we're good. Okay, well, I found the grappling arm fragment. Are you people for real? You breaking my sh Oh god. You breaking my shit? Oh god! Get out of the Zemoth! Oh, that's the other thing. I was gonna make the proximity shocker. That's the other thing I was gonna do. Hey, you twat. Mm. Hearing the reefback sounds all the way down here is not pleasant. I love the sounds the reefbacks make, but it's not pleasant. Especially since I'm relatively certain I'm going into Reaper Leviathan territory. This game just never stops being scary. You just get out into open water and you just like immediately the hit. There's a blood kelp zone all the way over here? Oh, God. What's that sparkling stuff over there? Well, boy, I hope there's no ghost leviathan over here, because that would suck. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, hello, Amp Eel. I believe that's what you're called, unless your name has been changed, which is entirely possible. I kind of want to scan you, but I also don't want to get shocked. Maybe we'll make that a bonus video. We'll go to all, like, the dangerous predator creatures and... Okay. And, uh, scan them. Including the Leviathans. I'm gonna have to craft a stasis rifle before I do that, though. Look at all the glowy bits here. I know they're deep shroom beds, but God, it's beautiful. There's the life pod. Of course, where all the freaking amp eels are. Do you mind going away? See, I wish I had my proximity shocker. I, I, could, I could zap them and scare them away. Pardon me, I just want to get the PDA by the life pod and I will be on my way! Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah! Depth module for the Cyclops! That's something I need, that's something I need, that's something I need. Cool, planning ahead, alright. Thanks, PDA! T plus- Oh, God. Two minutes, two minutes after the crash. Ah! Fucking hell. Okay, going, 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 going,
that's crab squid. Please tell me you're off over there. Oh, no, there's a warper. There's a warper up there. Nope. Wait, why am I out of my freaking Seamoth? That's not what I was expecting. Okay. Hold on. I must have mashed B too many times because I was scared. We're gonna uh, leave. I want to be able to listen to this without having to worry about a warper freaking warping me. Because they suck. And that's not a joke either. When I say the warpers warp you, that ain't a joke. Flotation devices failed. Oh, that sucks. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. That did not happen, madam. That sucks. <sighs> okay, well, I kind of want to explore. It says that uraninite crystals can be found in blood kelp zone, so I'm here in a blood kelp zone. Let's look around. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, I don't like it down here. The second I see a ghost leviathan, I am... Oh. What the... You didn't scare me that time, you jerk. Stop giving me notifications, Twitch! Oh, Tio's live. Sorry, I'm busy doing something. I... This looks like the Lost River. That looks like a ghost leviathan! They look a little derpy, don't they? <laughs> I make fun of it while I'm a hundred meters away. <laughs> oh my god. This is the Lost River. I. It connects to, like, the other side of the freaking map. I don't like those noises! God, the sounds they make are so cool. Can I go investigate this skull? It looks like the super large skull, but smaller. Like, a lot smaller. This seems like a poor decision, but I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do it! I'm not gonna do it! I changed my mind! I changed my mind! Oh god, I changed my mind! I think, I think we should probably go, like, now. That was a case of the worst timing in the world. If I stay down here, it won't be able to get me because there's trees everywhere. Fuck you, Ghost Leviathan. I don't like you. Please leave me alone. Ow! Rude. Rude. Can I get out of my... Are you done humping me now? Can I get out of my Zima? Oh, the sounds it makes are so terrifying. That's right. Go that way. See if I can scan this thing. I can't. I can't scan it. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine with me. Ow, you fucker! Those are gel sacks. What does your ananite crystal look like? Pay no attention to the ghost leviathan breathing down my neck. Is that it? What the fuck is that? Ghosty? Ghosty? That would be a cool screenshot, actually, but I had to get out of my Seamoth first, and I... If I stay perfectly still, it won't see me! If I remember right, this stuff is poisonous. What? Crystalline sulfur? This is... new. I'll take... Oh no, wait! No, there is sulfur in this game! That's right! Oh god! shit right now! I have bigger problems! Ow! You dickhead! Okay. Huh. 
I just want your anime crystals. Thank you very fucking much. I'm gonna go ahead and repair. Okay. I can take another hit. Hold on. Water. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, water. Food. Okay, we're good. I still have some food and water. I can keep looking. I think maybe I should make my way to the wreck and get and get the data terminal. I I've got I've got Ruby. I need to fuck. Wait. That's diamond. Back the fuck up, dude. No. Go away. <laughs> I hate being stuck in areas with leviathans and having to dodge them the whole time. Oh god. Okay, yeah, just stay low in the in the tree things, and she- it's derpy, and it, it won't be able to get you. Maybe. Mm. Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Where's my frame rate? Okay, there it is. Sulfur. I'll grab it. Come here, you. I guess this green stuff isn't poisonous anymore. Oh, no! It's definitely poisonous. Ow! Alright, well, that mystery has been confirmed. I'm just gonna- wait. I think it continues that way. What the fuck is that? It's guarding something. Do you guys see that? What are you doing? I think it's stuck. <laughs> That's an unfortunate place for you to have been stuck, sir, because I kind of need to get there. Thank you. Maybe if I aggro it, I'll scare it away. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Is there something behind the waterfall? It's definitely stuck. I didn't know ghosts could get stuck in walls, but... Oh, it's going to eat me. Oh, it is going to eat me if I do this. And if it does eat me, my Seamoth... In this game! If you die, you go back to your base, whether that's the life pod or the base you've built, you'll go back there. Your vehicle that you brought with you won't. I also could always save my game and reload it <laughs> so I don't lose my Seamoth. I could do that too. Okay. Ghost, bah! Awesome. This is new. Did I find an alien cache? I know these are things. I found alien caches in the past, but it was back before there was ever anything in them. So. <sighs> Fuck off. No way. There's an arch down here? I always thought there was only the two. The one on the mountain island, and the one on the other island. There's one down here. Get the fuck out of here. And what do you know? I have one of the ion crystal things on me right now. I can't, I can't, I can't turn it on. Why can't I turn it on? I want to turn it on! Come on, is this a dead one? Oh, shit, yo. I can't turn it on. Maybe I gotta turn on the other ones first. I don't have a beacon with me, do I? Fuck, I wish I had a beacon. I could mark the entrance to this thing and find it again. It's easy enough. I go to the underwater islands, to the blood kelp zone, down into the blood kelp zone, eventually leads here, and it's up against one of the walls that has, you know... <laughs> Assuming the Ghost Leviathan is now stuck here forever. Find the Ghost Leviathan. Find the thing. Yeah, it's totally still there. Okay, this is beyond terrifying. This thing is huge! Of course, now, yeah, now I gotta go back out past it. Shit! Fuck! Okay! 
Okay, we're good, we're good, everything's fine, everything's fine. Please stay there forever, don't ever- Ow, ow, ow. Unstick yourself. I'm gonna go now, bye! Okay. It continues this way. Oh god. Is this the way I came in? It is. It's the way I came in. That's- that's your end and I- I found it! I found it! I see it! I found it! I see it! I gotta grab it. I need that to make reactor rods. I will go ahead and scan it, sure. My life just got a whole lot easier because that, uh... That, uh... <laughs> that ghost leviathan decided to stick itself in the frickin' waterfall. Imagine if Patrick Swayze had that problem. You know, you have to- OW! Get away from me, you guys are annoying. You have to, like, channel all of your, like, emotions and energy into- to order- in order to phase through walls. How many of you guys have actually seen Ghost? The Patrick Swayze Ghost movie. I watched it all the time growing up, and I loved it. It's one of my favorite movies. It's really good. And, uh- Oh, you unstuck yourself! Okay! That's awesome! I will go now! See ya! You can't leave. Okay. Did I see Renanite here? I did. Okay, I'm gonna- it's easier to see in the dark. There's two. Okay. Got one... here? And I got one... Oh god, nope, nope, hold on, nope, 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 bah, there we go. Is that a third? And a fourth, fuck, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab as much as I can. There's a fifth! Holy shit, I'm rich in radioactive materials! Ow! Okay, that doesn't look like it hooks up to the original Lost River. I mean, that would be... I would be shocked if it did, because it's so far away. I marked the entrance to the Blood Kelp Zone that leads to the Lost River over there. Look how far away it is. There's- if this connects, I would be shocked. But, okay, I found some Uraninite crystals. Huh, fuck, dude. Faced off with a Ghost Leviathan, I found another alien arch, but I can't do anything with it, meaning I probably gotta- ah, shit. Probably gotta turn on the other ones first. And of course I come back out here at night time. Why wouldn't I? Oh god, this place is large. It's larger than I thought. Oh god. Dude, there's blood kelp shit on the underwater islands? Look at this! Oh, that's cool! This is cool. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm gonna- I'm gonna head back to base, cause I'm scared. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop some- I'm gonna drop off all that uraninite crystals, and I'm gonna make a reactor rod, at least one reactor rod, and get to charging my base, because right now my power options kinda suck. You scared me. <gasps> oh, that's a picture. Hold on. Oh, no, nope. nope. Headlights off, dear. Welcome aboard, Captain. There we go. Right. Hold on. Gotta frame it up nicely. And... Boosh. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put that in my base as well. Because for some reason, my other screenshot has disappeared. It's a welcome sound to hear you guys again. For the most part, the reef backs are in safer biomes, like the Grassy Plateau, or, uh, yeah, pretty much the Grassy Plateau. <laughs> uh, so when I hear them, it's like, huh, it's like a, a feeling of reassurance, like, I'm back with the reef backs, I'm safe. Would you stop giving me Twitch notifications? 